Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Amazon. The report was first published on our website Tuesday, July 5, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell Amazon? In this video, you will get insight into the technical and fundamental situation and future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since July 5, 2022, our system ranks the Amazon stock as a sell candidate, giving it a score of 3.099. Over the next few days we will see how this evaluation performs. In our daily updates for Amazon our last headline reads, Amazon stock upgraded from sell candidate to buy candidate after Tuesday trading session. The Amazon stock price gained 3.6% on the last trading day, Tuesday, July 5, 2022, rising from $109.56 to $113.50, and has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the day the stock fluctuated 7.29% from a day low at $106.32 to a day high of $114.08. The price has risen in 7 of the last 10 days and is up by 6.85% over the past 2 weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 13 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 77 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $8.70 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $188.65, and the lowest price was $101.26. Right now the price is 39.84%, or $75.15, below 52-week high and 91.3%, or $1,191.70, below all-time high January 15, 2018 where the price hit $1,305.20. The stock lies the upper part of a very wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $116.65 will firstly indicate a slower falling rate, but may be the first sign of a trend shift. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 29.09% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 42.56% and minus 27.12%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 29.60% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 38.60% and minus 5.40%. This equals a price between $69.69 and $107.37 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Amazon stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Amazon stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Amazon. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. The Amazon stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock, but the stock has a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $110.75 and $111.98. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, June 14, 2022, and so far it has risen 10.94%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short term development. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a buy signal 14 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 48 days ago. The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal two days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal two days ago. 
the relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three month chart. Gave a buy signal 16 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart, we see short moving average gave a sell signal 6 days ago. The long term moving average gave a sell signal 62 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 56 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Amazon Amazon finds support from accumulated volume at $108.79 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $7.76 between high and low, or 7.29%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 5.37%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Amazon. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Amazon currently has a price earning ratio of 53.04. A high price to earnings ratio could mean that a company's stock is overvalued, or else that investors are expecting high growth rates in the future. Next upcoming earnings report for Q2 2022 is expected to be released July 27, 2022. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Amazon meets first resistance at $120.21. If you do not hold Amazon shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Amazon finds first level of support at $108.79 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Amazon is buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On May 23, 2022 Bezos Jeffrey P. made an inside sell of 7,991 of common stock, par value 1 cent per share. On May 23, 2022 Clark David H. made an inside sell of 4,000 of restricted stock unit. Award On May 23, 2022 Clark David H. made an inside sell of 1,040 of restricted stock unit. Award On May 23, 2022 Clark David H. made an inside sell of 364 of restricted stock unit. Award on May 23, 2022 Clark David H. made an inside sell of 2,270 of common stock. Par value 1 cent. Per share. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 64.974. In total, the insiders bought 50,209 and sold 304,708 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is $108.68, minus 4.25%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 13 days ago. Is Amazon stock a buy? Several short-term signals are positive, despite the stock being in a falling trend, we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for stock to perform well in the short term. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a sell to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Wednesday 6th we expect Amazon to open down negative $2.20 and start trading at $111.30. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.